my name is Lynn. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how I transition from my Christmas decor to winter. I asked you guys over on Instagram if you'd like to see a video like this and there was a lot of response as to yes and after I did it I was like ah I don't even know if I have enough to show you but I'm gonna do my best. When I decorate for Christmas I usually have winter in mind. I just prefer it that way like I don't have a lot that just screams Christmas if that makes sense. So basically I can just take some things out and kind of tweak and rearrange a little bit. It's not like a huge difference or anything so if you watch my Christmas decor video you can kind of see the before and then how I you know how it'll turn out now um, it's really nothing fancy it feels a little bit sparse at this point but that's okay my house is not gonna be perfect um, I also usually don't decorate for like my spring stuff until I don't know maybe February or so kind of whenever I'm getting the winter blues and stuff more or less um, but I kind of enjoy having my winter pines and stuff out for a little while because it feels like winter here in Ohio and I just kind of like to keep it out a little bit longer. Plus my spring and summer decor is kind of just all the same more or less. I might change a couple things but I feel like that season is really long so that's why I like to keep my winter stuff out a little bit longer. So I'm just going to take you guys with me and to show you kind of how I'm tweaking things and maybe it'll give you some ideas and some help. Um, I'm no expert, uh, this is just something I really enjoy doing. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you guys and I hope you all find it helpful and enjoyable. Currently, this is some of the stuff that I'm going to be putting away. As you can see, there's kind of a lot of gold and there's a little bit of red back there. And yeah, this is what I have on my table. At this point, I may even take the candlesticks off, I don't know, but I tend to kind of rearrange quite a bit. But um, I just put this thing together. I thought it might look okay in there. And I'll probably leave the table runner for a little while yet. And yeah, this is in my dining room, in case you're not familiar with it. And this tree here, I'm just gonna leave here. I feel like it looks really wintry. Last year, I had actually had it out there at that corner um, where the lamp is, but I'm just gonna leave it in here for now. Okay, so there's not a whole lot of change in our bedroom, really. Um, I did bring another um, plant in here. It's not actually real, it's just, it's a fake uh, succulent looking plant but I'd had something else there so I brought that in there and I'm gonna leave my pines uh, green things up here with the lights because I just love how cozy it feels and still sticking to the green pillows I still have them out on my couch as well or my sofas up here I actually lit the candles for you guys <laughs> I was so excited I found these um, candlesticks at a thrift store on Saturday I, this is kind of something new for me. I've picked up a couple of the brass ones, but not like with the thin stems, and I really like them. So I put them there for now. Um, I'll try and insert a picture of what it looked like before, but I just took that stuff down except for that sign there, which I'm not necessarily attached to, but I just put this picture up here of our family. This here hasn't changed a whole lot. I took the big mercury glass tree I'd had and put this little one there and then just added some of these little snowball things. Um, I'd gotten these at Village Gift Barn. They're just like soft and squishy. So there isn't just a huge amount of change in here really. And this is pretty much the same except I'd had this gold stuff in there. But I took that out and just added this little little uh, sprig of, I don't know, it looks kind of like baby pearls or something. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. I just thought it looks um, looks kind of wintry. I don't know, I kind of like that. So it's really simple, nothing too major. Uh, this corner here is not too different. I did pick up a throw 
at Walmart. It was like under $5. I thought it was so cozy looking and it just feels kind of wintry. Plus, you can never have enough throws around, it seems. Um, these bins I did update. I got them at Aldi the other day. They are just like $5 a piece and they're just like a nice neutral kind of tan linen colored. And then here, this is basically the same except I used to have ornaments in here and stuff, so I took those out and added some um, pine cones and a little bit of green sprig or whatever. And then this thing, I added some lamb's ear to it. I'm not exactly sure about it. I think it looks okay. I'll probably just leave it. It's not that big a deal, but that's how this corner is turning out. I apologize for the lighting in here. It's kind of gloomy outside. It's actually snowing a little bit, but yeah, it's not the best. So I'm trying to quickly film this while I can. Um, this is sort of the same, um, but this is what it's looking like right now. I'd had this thing somewhere else and I'd had a little mercury glass tree here, but I put um, this in there instead and then just added some more of these. So that's kind of like that. And then the pillows, I need your opinion. Um, I still love them, the green ones, but do they look too Christmassy? I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I feel like it kind of works because I have, you know, green in here. I have like the wreaths on the windows and just other green stuff. So I don't know, let me know what you think. And yeah, I have a little uh, fake tree there in the back. And I had like a little kind of mini Christmas tree almost. There weren't any ornaments or anything, but it, yeah, I had that sitting in the corner over Christmas and now I have this new lamp here that my husband got me for Christmas. So I like that. I kind of feel like it updates it a little bit. And the ladder shelf is basically the same. I took out some of the ornaments here in my container, but that's kind of what, <laughs> as you can see my theme of things, some of the base things kind of stay, but then I just take out um, and maybe re replace some things. So yeah, I it's really not like just a huge change, but you can kind of see the method to my madness, I guess. But this is probably one of my favorites right now. Um, I'd had these bottle brush trees. I think I had the big one in the upper top, like the bottle brush right there. I'd had that one up here, and I'll try and insert a picture of what it looked like before, but I, my mom picked up these ceramic trees up at Walnut Creek Cheese for me and I can have this little grouping of trees and I really really like it. I think it looks really nice and wintry and then I have some more of my snowballs in here. I left a couple of the ornaments in there. I just had um, just ornaments and I think I'm gonna leave it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Too Christmassy? I feel like they're kind of neutral. They look okay and then plus I still have my wreaths on the windows which I like. And this is basically the same, but I pulled this little tree in from outside. I'd had it on the porch. It's from Ikea. I put them there for now. I don't know. It's oh, maybe a tad big, but I thought it kind of felt kind of cheery and wintry if I put it there. So yeah, that's kind of the kitchen. And another thing here, this wreath I'd had up on those shelves so I hung it here instead of the Christmas type printable thing I'd had. The bathroom is basically the same. Um, I have a towel missing. Goodness, they're making some racket, sorry. Um, but I put a printable up there and just eliminated a couple things but yeah, I just kind of tried to make it look a little wintry. And then the rest of the bathroom, uh, I had this wreath here before. I'd stuck in a couple of sprigs of some kind of glittery stuff, so I took those out. And the rest of it is pretty much just the same as normal. Uh, I added the plant there to the window. It's like a little jade plant, um, mostly because it needs light, and I wasn't really sure where else to put it right now, so hopefully I can keep it alive. So this is what the entrance is looking like. We finally finished off our corner there, and <laughs> I still need to finish sanding it and painting it, and also painting the box there, but I just have these white uh, branches from Walmart. And then, so yeah, oh, stray Norwex rag. What are you guys doing? So I think that's pretty much the end of the video. I really don't know if this was a very helpful or not. Um, I don't feel like there was a lot of content to share with you guys, but um, you can at least see kind of what I do. And yeah, I hope it helped you guys. So if you're new here, I'd love to have you subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And 
I will be seeing you guys later. Bye. What's your snowman called? Um, I get a snowy can I call him Snowy the Man. Snow <laughs> <laughs> Snowy the Man. For those of you who watched my Aldi haul, um, I finally helped them build a snowman this morning and Caden got to put his carrot nose in there. So um, yeah, that's just a side note. <laughs>